There are some dangerous people from Atlantis. Doesn't mean they're all bad. A shark is a dangerous fish, but not all fish are sharks. The first day the kids came and were introduced to soundboarding, we had a trip, we were giving people lessons and they were just walking in the dunes, exploring, it was a public holiday. We saw them there and we had some extra boards with us and we said, hey guys, you know, you want to give it a try. Okay, so you bend your knees, arms at your side, look where you're going, yes. all right? And just keep your balance and don't be scared. Okay, what? that's the main oh. thing. <laughs> okay, it's okay, we all fall our first time. Let's get back up and carry on, all right? There you go. My name is uh, Tessa Bredenkamp and I founded the Atlantis Sandboarding Club. Myself and my family have the company Mamba Sandboarding. We've been doing it for about 15 years now. We make our own boards and teach people, we do lessons there in Atlantis, teach people how to sandboard. I've had some of the best times of my life in the sand and I've had some harder times of my life in the sand. One of the, the biggest challenges I faced in my life when I was 14 years old, I was raped by a man on the beach in Jeffreys Bay. That obviously did a lot of damage to my self-esteem, made me feel helpless and weak. can say that sandboarding helped me through that. Sandboarding itself symbolizes freedom to me and I feel like a brand new person at the end of the day. I can conquer anything when I get on a sand <laughs> sandboard. We said to them, hey, you know, if you're enjoying this, come next week, bring some friends. And after about two or three weeks, we, um, we formed this little club and it's grown. All right, boys, uh, we're here on the sand dunes, and this is a beautiful place, eh? And we want to keep it looking beautiful like this, all right? So don't make sure we don't throw any papers around, we don't litter. It's very important that you don't hurt yourself, so we've got helmets for safety. She loves those children, that she can take little kids like that, dedicate her time and energy to them, and, and love them like they're her own kids. It's important for us to meet to meet the parents because they should know obviously where their kids are going every week, who are they with. I've heard them say that the dunes have a reputation of being quite a dangerous place and I want them to know that they are with people who are safe and who care about them. <laughs> <laughs> they were so excited that we are doing something for their kids, that we have paid interest in their kids. These kids are they are susceptible to becoming bad people because they are surrounded by it. But I know them, who they are now, and they are completely pure, innocent souls, and I want them to stay that way. I believe that they can. These are South African heroes.